Good morning, guys. Well, it's another beautiful day. It's the middle of June. It'll be about 75 degrees Fahrenheit today in New Jersey. Low humidity. Sunny and seagulls chirping in the background. And it makes me uh, reflect on my journey to reposition my life to be a nomad, mainly for the weather. You know, my main goal in selling my house and uh, living in my car was to give me enough flexibility to be able to go to Florida without fully committing to owning a home until I could figure out if it would work for me and until I can figure out uh, the parameters of having a remote job. And so for a couple of years, I stayed in New Jersey and suffered in the winter living in my car. And for the past year and a half, I've been able to uh, reposition my life through the selling of my house, through a job transfer, and able to work remote and, and go down to Florida. And this summer I came, or this, the end of the winter, I came back up to New Jersey to be with my mom because of the coronavirus. And as things started to open up the past few weeks, I just decided to stay up north because of the weather. But initially, I left New Jersey because of the weather, because of the winters. And in the summertime in New Jersey, I would always get anxious because I know, I knew that summer would end and winter would come back. And it would always make me anxious, upset. And uh, I said, there's got to be a better way because I really do think that weather plays a big part in your life, your quality of life. And so I know that Florida is the best place to call home if you can responsibly reposition your life there, obtain a job, or live simply enough that you can change jobs. And Florida is obviously tax-friendly for entrepreneurs uh, because you have no state income tax. Uh, the pay scale is lower, so you have to consider that if that's your home. The environment is better even when the you know, like if it was the same temperature in Florida versus New Jersey in the summer, where would I choose to be? Like right now, I'm staying in New Jersey because the weather is so nice. And in Florida in the summer, the weather gets, I don't mind that it's hot, but it's hot, humid, rainy. Um, it's, it's what they call rainy season because it's a tropical environment. So from June to the end of September is rainy season with mixed with hurricane season specifically in August and September that really kicks up so but if there was no hurricane season or rainy season and the weather was the same in the summer I would choose to be in Florida because I like the environment the culture better I love the international vibe of southeast Florida uh, the Caribbean feel uh, the vegetation the palm trees the wildlife but as a nomad obviously extreme weather is your biggest enemy uh, because you're living a primitive life, especially if you don't have a fully self-contained RV. So it makes sense to be a snowbird, to travel with the weather. And that's kind of what I'm reflecting on this morning. You know, weather's, weather is the number one reason why people move. Weather, climate is the number one pe reason people move, period. <clears throat> and as a nomad, I think that following the weather especially if you're living primitive out of your van or car, I think is very important because I think it does matter what your quality of life. I mean, last summer I spent the entire summer in Florida without air conditioning and it was tough. It was tough. You can do it and I would do it again if I needed to. But if I would have still been in Florida, if the coronavirus never happened, like I say, I'm still looking at RVs with an air conditioning or a home base You know, to get around that is to travel with the weather. And I'm thinking about this morning, I'm sharing my thoughts. Is it worth it for me just to continue to travel with the weather? Well, I may. If I don't buy a home base, and as long as I can continue to, to work remotely, um, I wouldn't come up north until June. Because I came up north because of the coronavirus in March, and it was horrible. But if you come up north, I would say June, July, August, and September, and then go back down south in October, that's the best way to be a snowbird. 
obviously not everyone can work remote, even though with the coronavirus, the good thing that has come out of that is that more jobs are able to work remote. More people are able to homeschool. And so take advantage of that. Seize this moment. You may not always have this moment. I've learned that in life. Don't always think the opportunity will be there because it won't. But I think that weather is so important um, for a variety of reasons in your life. You should put some thought into, you know, either traveling with the weather, definitely having a home base where the weather is ideal to your personality. And um, I don't know. You know, initially I thought, you know, being a snowbird wouldn't really be my style because I really don't like it up north. But I think to get away from the negative part about Florida is July, August, September. You know, like I say, the hu humidity and the hurricanes. If you have an air conditioning, the humidity you can work around. The hurricanes, not so much. You know, hurricane season will come every year just like winter comes every year in New Jersey. And so the only way to avoid that there's you know is to be a snowbird. And it's it's amazing as you get older you realize that nothing is a hundred percent. You know, there's no thing in life, whether it's a state, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a job, whether it's an investment, anything you choose in life, nothing is going to be perfect. Okay, there's always gonna be a negative aspect of it. You know, so if you say, what's the negative aspect of Florida? It's July, August, and September, the height of hurricane season. Is it still worth it to live there even if you couldn't work remote? Yes. In my opinion, if you visit Florida first, uh, if you've done the research and secured a job there first, because even if I thought about that, like even if I couldn't, if I got laid off and I couldn't work remote again, would I still live in Florida? Yes. Um, obviously, look, I mean... I believe I'd be able to secure another job there. And uh, if I have to work stationary, I, I'd rather be in Florida. So, you know, I, I came to that point in my mind. But if I have the flexibility to be remote, <clears throat> if you're retired, if you're an entrepreneur that can work from anywhere, I, I would, you know, say look at being a snowbird. I mean, is it the best of both worlds? Well, like I say, I mean, there's negative parts about not being where you feel most comfortable in the aspect of knowing a town and being in one specific location all the time but there's also a good part about that which is an adventure something to look forward to and uh, you know look summer never ends when you're able to travel uh, up up and down with the weather in the, in the in the summer and in the winter so you know I feel good just living light like I said I want I want to wrap this up by saying when in doubt, live simple because you have more flexibility. Flexibility is your number one asset in life, especially when you're younger or middle age because you need more flexibility based on a career, maybe your children, life circumstance. The more easily you can change that flexibility, the better you are. As you get older, you may not want that much change. You may want more comfort and stability, but again... Uh, you know, I still think when you're older, live light. You know, I, I think when I'm old, I think I'd still live a simple life in an RV or small travel trailer. Why? Because a hurricane comes or something changes in life. I can change. I don't like being stuck. I don't like that feeling. So this morning, I'm blessed with good weather. It's a little bit cool this morning with a nice breeze, but it um, feels good because it's been in the 80s past couple days. But I just wanted to share some thoughts on uh, living light, on being a snowbird, on the weather, and uh, just feeling good this morning. I want to share some thoughts with you. I wanted to show up. Every day on this channel, I show up and make a video. I appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. Uh, click the thumbs up, considering joining, being a member. It uh, costs about 33 cents a day. I thank everyone who is a member. We do members-only live chats. And uh, doing the best I can, guys. Pushing forward. One day at a time, I hope you are. Have a great day. Stay positive. Remember, when in doubt, live light. When you're downsizing, when in doubt, throw out. Uh, drink more water and be positive. All right, guys? Peace and love.